What's going on, Lawn Care Nation? Richie Plemons with Plemons Lawn and Landscape. So, you know, we're going to the battery powered uh, blowers and weed eaters, and, and now the mowers are coming. So, I'm speaking with a gentleman here. He pulled up on a property that we're working on, and uh, we're going to show you what he's got for battery powered. That is a Sir. full semi truck of battery powered semi. It's amazing. Y'all know I used to drive. I had my own company for a while, sold it, and back to landscaping. So, all right, brother. So, do you like your battery powered truck? No. <laughs> Short, no. There's good things about it. Yeah. I like that it's quiet. Uh, mm -hmm. Other than that, there's not anything else I like about so it. So, you have a lot of issues out of it. From day one. From day one, has been. So, this truck's got, I think you said, 7,000 miles on it, and the, the windows have quit working. You got. No Warning. brake lights, blinkers don't work. I have to use the hazards to uh, make a turn uh -huh. so that somebody knows I'm making some type of movement. Yeah. The truck weighs 9,000 pounds more than a diesel truck. Uh -huh. Haul less freight. I feel every bit of the weight in the steering because I sit at the front of this thing. Look how close right. I am to the windshield. Yeah, you're all the way over the front. It's kind of yeah. like being in Europe, ain't it? Yeah. That's what I it need to, looks like. I need to use three of these a day to do my route. Yeah. That would only take a quarter tank of fuel in a diesel truck. And how much does one of these trucks cost? 300000 So you're looking at $300,000 and you got to buy three to do one day's route. 300 miles. 300 miles. So 100 miles on a truck and that's all you get. Yep, that's, you can't take the battery lower than 20% because it'll damage it. That's not very efficient, is it? No, it's yeah, not. It's, it's got to kill the... The, the 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 bottom end money there. Where's I mean, it doesn't weigh out. It doesn't weigh out for what? Then and, and we wonder why the freight costs are going up. Absolutely. So they're going through the roof. Not so to mention the tar chargers uh, that are about hundred thousand. Yeah. It. For yeah. the truck and how long does it take to charge one? Four hours. It takes four hours to and charge. And that's at two hundred amps. Wow. Yeah. That's uh kind of scary that this is what our government's kind of put us into the absolutely the battery powered. Now some things in battery power that we use we enjoy like hedge trimmers and, and pruners and things like that. Yeah. You know those are great. You know. Depend on it. Yeah, you know, and we can yeah. depend on. It. We can swap batteries in and out pretty quick. They'll charge in 20, 30 minutes, and, and you're on your way. That's no big deal. But when you're talking about something like this, that eighty thousand pounds going down the highway, yeah. and I think you said you had an issue with your power steering. Power steering went out on me and, uh, late at night on the road. That a lot of curves. Yep. And uh, literally I was sore for a week from using all my manpower to turn that steering wheel just to get it stopped. Yeah, because my engine brake is the. The, the electric engine itself. Yes. The back pressure of it, and uh, there was none, so I had no brakes that I would oh normally have. That's dangerous. And it's very dangerous. It's dangerous. And um, like I said, the weight of this thing is a big problem because it's harder to stop. Yes. Than a conventional tractor. Correct. So, and you see, this is a cab over design, so it's yeah. not very comfortable. No. no it's rough riding. There's no movement of this seat. I'm sitting very uncomfortable all day long. Right. Because it's 72 truck batteries on this thing is what powers it. That's a lot of batteries. 72. That's why it weighs so much. It weighs 26,000. That's a lot of Milwaukee M18 batteries, guys. <laughs> a lot. Probably 100,000. Uh, yeah. But the batteries are in this uh -huh. under my seat. They're under I'm your seat. on batteries. So there's batteries everywhere. Now, all right. Yeah. So we were at the Expo, the GIE Expo or Equip Expo for, for the green industry last year. And DeWalt has a new battery-powered mower called Fire. No way to put it out. Fire department had trouble putting it out. What kind of, does your fire extinguisher going to do any good if this thing goes up in flame? Well, you can see it's a very small one. Yeah. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get away from the truck. Mm -hmm. My pull, safety is number one. Pull the kingpin and pull, and pull out, right? If I have time. <laughs> yeah. Well, and even everything with this is different, too. Yeah. So I'm just going to get away from the truck. My safety is because yes. I don't know what would happen. Uh, you see my seating arrangement. The batteries yeah. would be on top of me or would be underneath me exploding yeah. on fire. It's I'm getting away from it. Wow. Yeah. I, hope they, they pay, I hope they pay you well. Yeah, they do, and that's the <laughs> yeah. reason I'm driving this yeah, truck. I, I can understand it. But you got to make driving. a living. you gotta, you got to take care of the family, keep Absolutely. the bills paid, and the lights on. So, I mean, I got to understand where you're coming from. I mean, yeah. a lot of guys out here, there's a lot of things that we do that's dangerous that we don't want to do, but, you know, at the Absolutely. end of the day, we got to think about our family and, and putting food on the table for them. So. Yeah, I've been driving 12 years, and uh, so I've got an experience. I can speak uh, on behalf of both trucks. Yeah. And never in my wildest dreams would I imagine spending hard-earned money to buy something like this. Yeah. It comes from China, so you've got shipping costs. There's nobody even around here that can work on this truck. Wow. That's why my windows won't go up. Yeah. So what do they do to get them worked on that? Ship them out or somebody else? We, uh, we depend on somebody that's just got knowledge and uh, whatever that can say, hey, I might be able to fix this or I can't fix it. Wow. So we've had so many service calls already. Right. Just refuses that you can't yeah. find them. You can't truck. find them. There's just everywhere. Every, and it's all written in Chinese. 
Oh yeah, that makes it easy, don't it? Yeah. We learned one of them's right here under this. Uh huh. So there's a fuse box in here. Yeah. There's, there's one there. That. So they're just kind of everywhere. They're everywhere. You got a nice platform stand on though when you're unhooking the trailer, don't you? Yeah, but it's slick when it's raining. There, this looks like it's grippy, but it's, <laughs> it's not. It's slick, ain't it? I've done some nice skating yeah. off that thing. Yeah. I'd, what happened to the old regular old diamond plate? Well, right? just non skid on that bad boy and you know, let her eat. I mean, outside of the front of the tractor. From here back, mm -hmm. the tractor looks just like a conventional it looks normal. diesel tractor. Yeah. It looks totally normal. Other than, uh, I've seen you guys riding by a few times, and I see this giant box on the back, and when you hear this truck, I was like, it sounds totally different. Like a toy and, car. Yeah, it's like a toy car. It's, it's, it's wild. It's like it spins up. The truck's on right now, so we yeah. can talk right now beside it. The diesel truck, we wouldn't be able to. No, no, you'd have the, That's the, the only constant thing rattle. About this. Well, then, then my question is, is pulling power. Does it pull as good? Does it accelerate as good as the diesel? On flat ground, empty, yes. Uh, the Hill 136, I'll be going. Yeah. Diesel trucks pass me up it all the time. It's yeah. sure weighs 9,000 pounds more. It's heavy. It's yeah. super heavy truck. It's neat looking, though. I mean, it does have that going for it. It's neat and... And I don't know about the, the mining of batteries and the, what goes into that. And I, I don't have enough knowledge to really speak on what it does for the environment. Like, you know, people try to talk about diesel fuel and stuff like that. Acres and acres and acres of land yeah. to dig enough battery and stuff up to make these batteries. Yeah. And the diesel power of the machinery it took. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be eliminating the diesel, but yeah. we had to... And from my understanding, if, and I may be incorrect on this, and somebody down in the comments will probably let me know if I'm wrong, but uh, I can remember diesel, the exhaust from a diesel semi is cleaner than the exhaust of a gas pickup truck or a car. Absolutely. And, you know, when we went to the DEF system, and then, you know, before that, we just had the deep particulate filter, and that was horrendous. I remember Caterpillar in 08, I had a Pete 389 that was absolutely gorgeous truck, but couldn't keep it on the road. Absolutely. I was constantly That's breaking down, problem. going through, uh, what was it, um, the power heads or whatever they call them, or right. whatever, the hard heads, hard heads. Yeah. I was constantly going through hard heads, and the truck can never stay on the highway. It's Caterpillar, and, you know, they, they said, forget this, we're done with this, we're not playing this game. Yeah. And they got out of it completely, so uh, I can't blame them there. That's how I ended um, up in the 12.7 Detroit with 1.5 million miles and yeah. never a problem. And never had a problem. And it was clean. I had a uh, best truck I had was a probably an 07 379 flat top. I run this thing all over the country. Never had a problem. 10 inch straights on it, run flat bed. And I never had an issue other than when I went through the, the banning scales in California yeah. and they popped me for straight pipes in California. So, but. Uh, all right, man. I just uh, my name's Richie. Jody. Jody. Good to meet you, sir. It was a pleasure meeting yeah. you. I know you got to get back to work. I know you're you're thirty Easy minutes day, probably thankfully, up. So. Well, that time. Just get back and don't die on the battery on you, right? So yeah, appreciate you. Sir. Take care, Thank man. You. I'll just make a quick spin around and and let All you right. go. Diesel truck. Excuse me. Battery powered truck. Better get ready, they're coming. Battery's coming whether you like it or not. Can't believe he's got 7,000 miles on it. He's had so many problems. Trucks almost killed him once. Good luck to that man. No joke, is that not the craziest thing you ever seen? A battery powered semi. So we all know it's coming and, and I'm, I'm a firm believer. I think battery has its place in the industry. Um, I'm a bit skeptical on uh, semi trucks <laughs> uh, right now. I mean, I don't, I, I, I don't have enough knowledge in them to really be a, an expert on it. But uh, I kind of wonder how how good they're really going to be. Um, I know battery powered and mowers are are becoming a thing now. A lot of guys are running them. Some like them, some don't. I think I've got a battery powered Milwaukee uh, push mower. I really like it. I think it's a, it's a great uh, a great mower. It does a great job for me and and for what I do. It it's still um, running good after almost two years now. I've had it. Uh, it's coming up on two years and, and it's been been a phenomenal mower. It's, it's run great. I've had no issues out of it. Change the blades and uh, put new batteries in and keep it clean. So, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring that to you guys. I've seen him a few times when we're here mowing on our properties here. You can see we're. Uh, we're mowing a Jack's property, and that ditch right there is terrible. I hate that ditch. I can't stand it. It's, it's my new Grand Canyon. Some of you guys have been around a while will remember the Grand Canyon that we used to uh, have to weed eat every two weeks. That one's become my new Grand Canyon. Uh, so he's come by a few times, and I've seen him, you know, in passing, and I was like, you know, I want to ask him some questions, see what he thinks, get a feel for uh, for for what they think about it. So 
But anyway, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, it's, it's freaking hot. It's, it's like Satan farting in your face. So make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.